what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to remove the door handle. Now I'm going to put some black stripes on my van and I know it's been a while since I made a video. I just haven't had the time or place to be able to do it before but I will be getting back into the van. Um, so this bottom section, well that's been painted black at the moment, it's wrapped in red. The uh, reason why I choose Raptor because it's a strong paint, don't have to worry about clear coats or anything. It's a paint that's going to last for years. So painting the handles black as well, that's why I'm removing it, so I can paint the handles black. But I'll show you the proper way because um, I went and had a look at my old video and it's a bit shaky. Well actually it's a lot shaky and it's not um, very clear, so old camera, you know, bad footage. So they're going to redo it now. Uh, for starters I've got power windows, so for me this part here is easy. If you've got a door handle, you're going to use a cloth to get that manual door handle off uh, so you can take the uh, handle away. But for me, that's going to stay in. All I need to do is remove this top cover. I don't need to remove the bottom one. So I've removed this piece here to reveal the screw that's behind me. You get another screw up here that needs to be removed. For me, that's it. You get that top cover off. And then it's just a matter of pulling this part forward. Lift it up. And let's that bit out. Okay, so next bit is you just need to unclip these here. That's for your lock and handle. And for me, it's just a matter of unplugging that. And that's my card off. Yeah, you've got a couple of screws that we need to remove. So we're just going to pull this part off here. Try and be careful with it so you can stick it back on easy enough. Now if you wanted to, you could pull this out from here, right now, and try and undo those clips there. But believe me, they're harder to put on than what they are to take off. So what you do is, so we need to remove the window rail. So we've got the bolt down the bottom here, might be a screw on yours. I tend to replace mine with bolts all the time. Move this rail out of the way. Easy as that. So now you want to drop this bar down, just to give yourself a bit more hand room in there. And you want to remove the clip from the top one first. I'll give you a look at that. You see how I've already removed it? Now, that can be a little bit stubborn to pull out, but you know, it's not stuck there. Just need to give it a good pull towards you and it'll come out. And you don't touch any of the bottom ones, just the top one there. And there's another one there, so you can set it second bar there that's hiding. That one you'll get in a minute. So we've got the one screw here that needs to come off. Another one in here, holding the middle part of the handle on. Right, there's one more screw on the back here. Okay, so now with everything loose on the other side there, just take the handle out, comes out easy enough. So there, now I can get access to this other clip here. So that's the clip I want to just pull back, take that out, and handles out. As long as you put in that extra effort of uh, removing this runner, so you get yourself some access there, and you undo those two clips properly, the handle comes out really easy. You know, I see that mine's broken. It's just the second clip is broken there. I'll have to fix that. Just the clip's broken off. But this bolt here holds it all in place anyway, so once it's bolted in it's okay. But nonetheless, I'll clean that up and put some JB Weld on there just to hold that in place there. That'll be okay. Right, before I go putting these handles back in the van, I just wanted to show you is the major difference between them, because you can see that they're basically the same handle. All right, so by changing the inner part, now I can't now because I've metal welded it in, because um, there's two clips on either side that holds that in place, and both of mine are broken. So I've metal welded that into place on both, so I can't swap that anymore unless I break that uh, bonding there. But they're basically the same handle. 
um, you just got to swap over the piece. So if you've got a broken left handle and you can only get your hands on the right handle, swap the insert over and you've got a left handle. And same with the door lock, it can be put on this one or it can be put on this one. It's interchangeable as well. Oh, I can pretty much. So yeah, that, that can go on either chamber and the inserts can be swapped over to either handle. Also, uh, mine were really hard to function at first, like one of them wouldn't move out of the van, like I could try and do that and I couldn't get it to move and the other one was okay. This is the left hand side one that I've repaired once before years ago and uh, it still functions with that, it's broken here, not that you can tell, but I've put a bracket on the inside, like I had the whole handle out, glued it and put a screw through it and fixed it and that crack that's there is covered over with paint you can't see it anymore but it's there and um, it hasn't failed me ever since I did that repair uh, so this is the driver's door obviously and you can see how that's well, I say obviously but to me it's obvious because of the difference um, okay so this one here is the one that wouldn't function at all once I got uh, some lube on it yeah, I can open it so I'm gonna f w focus on that when I put the door back in because I want to the part that pushes down so that it goes that way this is the part that pushes down to open the door um, you've always got to open the handle quite a way before it actually opens so I'm going to see if there's something on the inside of that handle or inside of the door after I've installed this handle to see if I can adjust that or maybe while I'm installing this handle see if I can adjust that right to remove these there's just a clip on there so you can see, uh, hopefully you can see that clip there. All you do is remove that clip to take the chamber out, put that clip back on. Now they can be a bit tough, because, so um, just be mindful of that. They are a strong clip. Okay, like that. Now there is like little grooves where the clip goes into and that little cover piece there you get pushed back on the place there this part is easy so you just push that back on and it clips into place so you've got to give it a good push so it's clicked in now that's ready to go back on I showed the beginning part because I had to take the handles out obviously like I said in the beginning I was painting the car now that I've painted it I figured oh well might as well show you this putting the handle back in as well just as easy as taking it out, put it through there, and get this little clip that I got undid last. I'll bring the camera in closer for you. So this is the lock and unlock. I'll put that in. Swing that little bar around, a little plastic clip around. Put that in place, what was your uncle? Now we'll sit that in and we'll go from the other side. Okay, so hopefully you can see clearly enough now. You can see this bar that I talked about before, it's kind of just dangling there right now. That Clip the right way around so I can clip that in, and now what I do is push that little bar there back in like that. See, clip it in too easy. But before I go any further, I want to have a I'm going to inspect that bottom piece. Okay, I've had to go ahead and just put the screws in the handle, I haven't tightened them up yet, just I've just put them in place. So I can actually operate the handle. You can see a little bit of flex there. The handle's got to come out a fair way before that engages. I'd like to try and eliminate that. Basically, I've just shown you how to remove and install the handle. It's really simple. Uh, I just need to tighten those screws and bolts back up. I replaced it, like there's a screw there in place for now because that's the quickest one I could find. But I've got a bolt in there and I've got a bolt in there already. I'm just going to replace that one with a bolt when I'm finished here. Anyway, I'm going to remove the actuator. 
because I want to see if I can make an adjustment. So basically the video about removing the handle is already completed. If you'd like to keep on watching, it's up to you. Take this handle back off. Alright, a close inspection, there's really no way for me to modify that because what I want is it to still not go all the way. I'd just like to adjust it a little bit further back. It'd be nice if there's some sort of adjuster up here or something to make that part there longer. But it is what it is. And without me actually breaking this little o-ring there to get this off and welding it just to close that gap a bit I don't really see another way to get around that so I'll just have to live with it put it put it back together and it is what it is this one here handle back in now be warned don't try and function the handle when you've only got the inside clips on because I broke mine shouldn't affect it because it bolts there and there but avoid making that mistake I'll probably put that in here, that bigger one. It's a bit trickier though because you get kind of little fingers for that. Easy on the inside. taking the actuator out and putting that back in, taking the handle out, putting it back in. It's all, you know, once you know how, it's pretty easy. Okay, well, like, subscribe if you like. You know the drill. Uh, I've got a few more things I'll be doing on the van yet. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.